kids are old right now. We haven't had many kids redshirt, Peter. Um, you know, it just you know, early on we, we kept everybody in uniform and eligible and, and in playing, but with the, the depth of guard last year, we thought it would be good for his growth. Um, and and I haven't had a kid as a as a as a, as a player. I'll go back to my playing days as a player, as an assistant, as a head coach that has impacted a program as much as Luke did without playing a single game. And it's his work ethic. You know, he is a tireless worker. Um, he's, he's in the gym every day. Uh, he comes to practice with a great attitude. He works hard in the weight room. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a very conscientious student. You know, so those are all things that, you know, it, it, it's contagious. And, and he was able to impact, um, you know, our program last year without even setting foot on, uh, on, uh, on the court. You know, it, it's a piece of great kid. You know, yesterday we were working on some stuff and, I thought at Sacred Heart he passed up some open looks and he started shot faking and dribbling and doing all that stuff. And you know, what he does really, really well right now is shoot the ball. And so we were at practice yesterday and he passed up a shot. And uh, I said, look, get on the baseline. You know, start, just start running. You know, every time you don't shoot the ball, I'm going to put you on the baseline and you're going to run. Which is the wrong thing for that kid because he's like, okay, coach, I'm going to run. You know, and so uh, it just, it's, it's neat to have kids like that. You know, you, you have a kid that you're telling him to shoot the ball. Um, you know, and, and he, he did it. He ran the whole time with a smile on his face, Peter. You know, he was, and, and then he got back and he, he started to shoot the ball. But he's, he's a lot of fun to coach because he works so hard and, um, you know, and, and, and wants to do well. He's an unselfish kid. He plays hard, comes with a great attitude. Whether he plays two minutes or, you know, 20 minutes, whether he makes a shot or doesn't make a shot, I thought he gave us a big lift at Sacred Heart. You know, we put him in at the end of the half. He'd been sitting. In the first shot he shot against Sacred Heart, I think he shot, you know, six feet over the backboard. But put him in at the end of the half and, you know, I trust when he gets an open look, he's going to knock it down, and, and it gives a good lift going into halftime. Sorry. Now, wait a minute here. Oh, I, I got to tell my eight-year-old kids to shoot the ball, and they get in trouble. Have you ever had to tell a kid to shoot the ball or he's got to run line drills? I've, I've gone after a couple kids, you know, in my time that, you know, Keith Braxton's freshman year, he was shooting 40% from the three, and he kept passing up shots, you know, and, and there have been a couple guys that I've had, Scott Meredith, you know, he, he was good at shot faking every once in a while. Renell Giles is another kid, one of our freshmen. When you look at our shooting numbers, you know, when we do our drills, he's one of the highest, the highest had some, some of the highest numbers, and, uh, you know, although his percentages in games, maybe, you know, maybe not lead someone to believe that, but sometimes because he's passing up good shots, you know, so I threatened him yesterday, I said, um, you know, we have a, a set of pipes that one of our alums donated, they're, they're uh, uh, old solder metal that, you know, they weigh 65 pounds, and, and I said, listen, if you don't, I'm going to put you on the pipes, you got a guy's got to shoot the ball, and um, but those, those are, I love coaching kids like that, you know, for the most part, that's, you know, Isaiah was a little like that, Corey, too, there were times where he'd right. pass up shots, you know, what I said, Isaiah, what are you doing, you know, I'm the, I'm guessing I'm guessing Bobby and Tom never had to tell you to shoot the ball. Oh no. No, 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 shit. no it's, I, yeah, that, that was one that was one thing. And I, I think it's one thing too that you know, I want to give our guys confidence. Now understanding good shot, bad shot is sometimes a challenge with young kids. You know, understanding how to take a good shot, when to take a good shot, you know, that's a little bit of a challenge. But I'd rather have to teach that than you know, a kid being uh, hesitant. You know, I want our guys to play with confidence. And one of the things I don't want them looking over is every time they shoot the ball, is that a good shot? Uh, did you have something? Yeah, 